Hey, I'm going to stop saying this is the next archer at the beginning of my videos because that's starting to even annoy me. And that's why I'd gotten rid of the original beginning. Okay, I'm going to do a new review of the Leatherman Wave because my last one was not that good. Okay, so this is the Leatherman Wave. It's a pretty big multi-tool, but I have to say it's for the weight, you get a lot. And I have to say, it is extremely strong. Okay, on the outside, you have a regular knife. It's pretty good. Locks in. It's almost like a liner body lock, almost. Not really sure. Oh, I just cut myself a little. Okay. Anyways, um, on the exact opposite side, they have another knife with completely serrated. You can see them better right there. Then, on the same side as the serrated knife, you have a file. I believe this is just a regular metal file on this side, and I believe this one is a diamond coated. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it is. Then there's also the regular saw. The only things you can open with a thumb hole is the two blades. That is all the stuff on the outside of it. So, um, also, this is the old Leatherman wave. This was even back when the patent was pending. So this is a very old knife right here. Um, very smooth. Um, has wire cutters um, and needle nose pliers which are extremely strong and I've used them a lot. Um, pretty good pair of scissors. Uh, I don't know really what kind of metal they were or they are, but I remember at one time, I don't know if it was on these or another pair, I think it was actually on a different Leatherman, um, it was starting to mess up, the scissors were starting to like get dents and stuff in them has a bunch of other tools, screwdrivers, three different sizes, small, medium, and large. It has, on this side, looks like an extra large screwdriver, a uh, Phillips, and then that's a bottle opener and, slash can opener, I believe. Also has a little lanyard hole. Let's see if I can get that out. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's stuck, actually but it has a little lanyard in there. I believe the new ones have it somewhere near a blade. The lanyard. Um, let's see. That is ba the basic tools in here. I believe that is all of them. But it is extremely nice movement. Okay. It's just an extremely small, or not small, but it's an extremely large um, knife, heavy, but if you're not going to be carrying this on in your pocket, it's definitely worth it. Um, I actually would prefer a SOG better, because they, um, although they don't, I don't know about their warranty, but SOG just seems like a little more smooth of everything. Leatherman Wave is definitely a very good knife though. A little on the expensive side though, I believe. Around, I think $90. $70 to $90, I believe. That's my review on the Leatherman Wave. Goodbye.